Hi, my name is Tori Shendel Cox, Virginia G. Schrader Curator of Art at the Evansville Museum. And today we're going to talk about this piece titled Light and Shade by Harry Davis. Harry Allen Davis was born of Hillsboro, Indiana in 1914. His family moved to Brownsburg, Indiana in 1920 where he graduated from high school and later maintained a studio until 1960. He entered the Heron School of Art in Indianapolis in 1933 and earned his Bachelor's of Fine Arts in 1938. That same year, he won the prestigious Prix de Rome in painting and his studies at the American Academy in Rome enabled him to travel to Turkey, Italy, Greece, Egypt, Belgium, and France. Due to the outbreak of war in Europe, he spent his third year at the Academy in New York City, where he was provided with a studio in Greenwich Village. Davis was named artist in resident at Beloit College in Beloit, Wisconsin, where he taught and painted in 1941. In 1942, he enlisted in the army and designed camouflage in North Africa. He became a combat artist with the 5th Army Historical Unit in Italy from 1944 to 1946. The drawings and paintings from this time period are the property of the War Department at the Pentagon. His experience in World War II moved him to paint a series of religious compositions, including the Crucifixion, which gained national attention. In 1946, Davis began teaching at the Heron School of Art, in 1972, he presented an exhibition titled My City at the Heron Gallery. After his retirement in 1983, he was named Professor Emeritus. A sabbatical in 1975 allowed Davis to complete 32 works about sites in Southern Indiana. A grant provided the funds to travel the exhibition, a segment of the historic Ohio River Valley two galleries in the Midwest as part of the 1976 Bicentennial Celebration. A second sabbatical in 1983 resulted in the traveling show called Here and There, The Italian Influence, where he compared the architecture of Indiana with that of Italy. Because of his fascination with Hoosier architecture, he received the Sandy Servas Memorial Award from the Indiana Landmarks Foundation. We hope you enjoyed learning more about Harry Davis. Bye for now.